What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the double E dash to the Z O N coming at you once again. And I'm here to do a, a video reaction, uh, my thoughts, impressions, opinions, all that to the most recent Nintendo Direct aired today, uh, June 18th, 2024. This is the one we were waiting for for such a long time. Have been, uh, you know, rumored before because it's E3 season and usually during E3 season, Nintendo will have some kind of presentation, Nintendo Direct. Uh, you know, since E3 is no more and, uh, you know, we just had the state of play from Sony about a week or so ago. It wasn't that great. Uh, Microsoft Xbox Showcase 2024 was phenomenal. And it was the show of, it was the show of shows. It, it was of this E3-ish type season. It's the number one show. It was the most packed full of new announcements, great uh, reveals, gameplay, cinematics, all that. Amazing list of games coming from Microsoft, especially going into next year. So today was time for the Nintendo Direct. You know, it was announced yesterday that it would be today, and uh, so you know, I was at uh, I was at work, and um, I had a nice long lunch uh, break, and I had time to see it. You know, it started at ten uh, in the morning Eastern time, ten a.m. Eastern time here uh, in Miami, where I'm at, uh, and I got my lunch break at around ten thirty. So I knew this was probably gonna be around a forty to forty-five minute direct. That's usually the length of their big directs. You know, their their E three ish type of, of presentations. So I set up, you know, I get off at, you know, 1030 for lunch. Don't have to be back till about 12 ish. So I was like, all right, let me let me go in there and see the, the entirety of it. Uh, I'm just going to say right off the bat. It, it was a shit show. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Uh, very, very little uh, redeeming value in this uh, presentation from Nintendo. Really disappointing. Um, I'll just the, the few bright spots. I'll talk about them right now. Um, wow. Uh, you know, for, okay, so there was the reveal of The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, uh, brand new, uh, top-down 2D Zelda, uh, very similar art style, if not the exact identical art style to The Legend of Zelda, uh, Link's Awakening uh, on Switch. Uh, I'm sure it's a fantastic game, and I'm not, I'm not gonna bullshit you, uh, I may or may not check this one out. I say may or may not, knowing how big of a Zelda fan I am. Because quite frankly, I'm not a 2D Zelda fan. Never have been. I enjoyed them back in the day uh, on the 8-bit and 16-bit consoles because that's the Zelda we had and we knew. But from the days of Ocarina of Time and going forward, I'm not fucking with no 2D Zelda, bro. At least not no old school top-down 2D Zelda. I'm sorry, I'm not. This one this one seemed interesting because it had the, the concept we had long been uh, hearing about. Uh, speculating about and, and some of us even dreaming about a Zelda game that would let us play as Princess Zelda. That you know we played as Link so many times and he's the hero and it's awesome. But it would be cool to have a game from the perspective of, of Princess Zelda and and play as her, play through her eyes in one of these adventures. Now, when you say that, when you, when you when you conceptualize that, you're thinking a fucking epic 3D game, not. A fucking old school, beautiful art style, don't get me wrong, but 2D, top down, looks like it's a lot less money to make this, it looked like it took a lot less time to make this, it looks like this should have been ready now, and it's coming in 2025, on top of that, and it's a 2D, top down Zelda, eh, miss me with that, bro, like, you know, like, maybe, you know, in a, in a, in a which it seems like the Switch is going to have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, dry periods, at least as far as I'm concerned, for the games that I like to play, uh, because there was nothing in this Direct. And if the Switch, let's just say, let's say the Switch 2, I, I highly doubt it. I think the Switch 2 is going to be early to mid next year. But let's say that it's like some people are thinking, and it's not until holiday of 2025. That means you have an entire whole other year to go, year plus, because we're only halfway through this year, and you have nothing really is Nintendo Direct focused on games that were at the end of this year and going into 2025, and there was fucking literally nothing. Nothing of interest to me. I don't give a shit about Dragon Quest. I don't give a shit about Final Fantasy, like old school 2D HD remakes and shit like that. There was Dragon Quest. There was a... What was the other one? There was a bunch of... I don't care. I don't care. And I hate to sound like that for those of you who do enjoy those games. I'm happy for you. Enjoy it. It's coming. They do look beautiful. But that's not my cup of tea, bro. And I'm getting tired with Nintendo of being like, eh, it's okay, it's not my cup of tea, as long as the system's doing good, because it's doing fantastic. Eventually, they're going to come with something that I like. 
And I, I don't get me wrong, I'm super grateful for Endless Ocean Luminous. I'm still balling on that shit, still playing on it. I love it. But it's like, yo, if, the, if that's the case, if the Switch is not coming till late next year, man, y'all ain't got shit coming, bro, that I that I care about. Super Mario Party Jamboree looks fun. Looks fun. I may check that out, but am I Google Gaga over it? No. Uh, you know, the Zelda game, eh, maybe, like I said, if there's a dry period, which it looks like they're going to have a lot of dry periods, and I get bored, and I want to play something new on my Switch, maybe I'll, I'll invest the fucking 60 bucks Nintendo's going to ask for for that fucking 2D shit. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? I, like, don't get me wrong. It by no means looks like a bad game. It looks like a great game. It's just not... Like, if you're finished trying to finish out the Switch strong, this isn't the way to do it, bro. This is the type of game that goes in there surrounded by a bunch of other great announcements, of which there were none. Um... So what else? What else? Donkey Kong Country Returns HD coming. That looks awesome. Great, phenomenal Donkey Kong game. But at the same time, why the fuck is this coming in 2025? This looks like it's ready. This look. This I know this didn't cost you shit to make. I know that this is ready. And you're sitting on it. So there's that. Uh, bro, so many shit. I mean, there was a cool Looney Tunes uh, arcade sports game. Uh, kind of like an NBA Jam, but with like tennis and basketball and all that. With the Looney Tunes hand-drawn animated Looney Tunes uh, art style. That looks decent. It looked cool. Something to look into. Uh, but um, what else was there? Oh, there was. Okay, this was a pretty cool announcement. The Capcom uh, fighting game arcade classics collection with uh, Street Fighter vs. X and then Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, the Punisher arcade game and all, all these. It's like six or seven fighting slash beat em up arcade games. Actual arcade versions, collect you know, wrapped up in one compilation from Capcom. That's cool. That I will invest in, uh, because I have all that shit through emulation on my laptop. It'd be nice to have it on, on one cartridge or one download. Uh, but they have a bunch of shit games, a bunch of farming simulators again, and things of that nature, and uh, just like get the fuck out of here, man. Like this is like we're waiting. This is the E3 Nintendo. I know E3 don't exist anymore, but god damn it, this is E3 season. I don't give a damn if E3's dead. This is E3 season. This is the Super Bowl. This is Game 7 NBA Finals. What are we doing? Nonsense, bro. Then I will give them credit. The reason this Direct was not a fucking F triple minus diving through the fucking floorboards is because they finally fucking did it. They finally fucking did it. And you would think I'm coming up on here to finally talk about this reveal. I'd be ecstatic. And I want to be, but this Direct was such shit that I feel like I wasted those 45 or so minutes of my lunch break watching this shit. I could have just watched the final minute and seen the reveal that everybody was waiting for. Metroid Prime 4 Echo, uh, Echoes. Wow, look at me. Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. And I love that title. Okay, let me just say. Yes, Lord. That's what we wanted, man. Nintendo didn't fuck around. See, now, now, this is why I get mad because I know with this direct that Nintendo was basically jerking us off. Nintendo was bullshitting us. They were trolling us. They weren't trying at all with this show. And that's what makes me mad because when they try, great things like the reveal of Metroid Prime 4 Beyond happen. And what do I mean by that? No, as much as I love the Microsoft Showcase, a lot of things that people, a lot of the thing. The thing that a lot of people lament about that show and Sony shows and things like that is that they do a lot of in-game engine cinematic footage. Yeah, the game is going to look like that. There goes my cat. The game is going to look like that. We have confidence in that. It's awesome, but it's not actual gameplay. Nintendo said, bump that bullshit. We coming in right with the gameplay, straight up the way it's going to be. You are, pl- you are seeing the game played. Holy Jesus who sits on the throne, dude. Man, that shit was beautiful. As soon as I saw Galactic Year 20X, 20X9, Galactic Federation Research, I said, oh, shit. I knew it, bro. You see the gunship come down. Beautiful graphics. You got to remember, this is Nintendo Switch. I'm going to tell you like this. Alongside Endless Ocean Luminous, alongside Metroid Prime Remastered, alongside, I'll say Smash Brothers Ultimate, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, 
games of that nature, alongside those games, this is the best looking Switch game I've ever seen. It is just, it is, they're putting that much work into it. You see the gunship land and the traditional epic fucking iconic Samus Aran coming out through the top of the ship, somersaults on the ground, lands in that Spider Man pose, stands up, you hear the da, 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 music from Metroid, camera swirls around behind her helmet, you're in the visor. Boom! First person gameplay and the fucking surrounding environment, man. The atmospheric, the, the, the atmospheric, the, the particle effects of the dust and the steam and the explosions happening and happening in the background. This shit looked like a scene out of Halo, bro, in the Metroid universe. And she's just traversing through that shit. Blah blah blah. You see the gunplay. Uh, you saw her fighting with multiple enemies, sidestepping and all that. And then you see. Uh, you know, a quick cinematic entrance of the main, what looks to be the main villain. Uh, I believe it's, uh, again, because I'm a, I'm a Metroid fan, but I'm not a huge Metroid fan. Like, oh my God, I know every character and all the lore and all that. Cy- Silex? Silex, I think it is? He's the one that everybody suspected was going to be the villain in this Metroid because of the way corruption ended. So, yeah, you see his entrance looking badass, and then boom, it goes black. Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. And then you see this epic shot, like an overhead shot, like from an iso- isometric camera of Samus walking into an environment, it's a lush green jungle environment, and the camera just pans out and scopes over the over, over the, the expanse, bro. And this big, lush, beautiful world, and it just says 2025. Oh my God, I was so happy to finally see this, but this confirms to me, this is a Switch 2 game. It's going to be on Switch. It's going to be on Switch. But I'm convinced either that was the footage of the Switch 2 version or we haven't even seen the Switch 2 version yet and it's going to look even even more bonkers. So that was the one saving grace of the show. Um, they had a Mario and Luigi game. So many people are losing their minds over that. I was never a Mario and Luigi fan. I'm a Mario fan and I'm a Luigi fan. I love Luigi's Mansion. And they did show Luigi's Mansion HD, uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD remake. Looks beautiful, but I have worries about that game because if all they did was spruce it up to HD visuals, but it still moves and animates like a 3DS game, that's going to look kind of like Metal Gear uh, Snake Eater or Delta or whatever, the, the Metal Gear um, 3 remake that's coming out uh, on Xbox and PS5. The animations look kind of wonky because they're the, they're the old school animations from the original game, just with much up textures. So... But I love Luigi. I love Mario. Mario game, Mario 2D games, Mario 3D especially, uh, and, and, and all various Mario spinoffs. I don't like Mario RPG. I don't like RPG games. And the Mario and Luigi games are like a like a, 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 a team game. You're, you're Mario and Luigi, and it's, it's kind of in the R, RPG vein of things. I don't care. I don't care. That is not real Mario to me. If it is to you, awesome. Again, enjoy, bro. It's Easter own. But to me... I was just like the only thing in this in this uh in this direct that was worth me like reacting positively about was the Capcom fighting uh, game fighting arcade games uh, classics collection. I don't know how to say that title it's so fucking long, but it, it looks awesome. And um, Super Mario Party Jamboree looks interesting. Link Echoes of Wisdom of oh, Link Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom looks high. Uh, you know, it's just disappointing, bro. Like, uh, on its own, if this was just some Nintendo Direct in the middle of any random year, it would have been like, okay, this is a, a C-plus to a B-minus show. But this is the last year of the Switch. We're all, not just assuming, we're all pretty sure. And this is the last major Direct you're going to have for this console. And we don't want you to finish out like the Wii U where it was a barren wasteland. But at the same time, I'd rather have a barren wasteland than a bunch of shit games I'm not going to look at. Cause that's the same. That's one and the same. So yeah, I didn't like it, bro. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. The show's over. It's done. It's set in stone. Uh, Metro Prime Four Beyond looks. All, I'm all on board. I always was, but I'm so glad to see that it looks so polished. It looks so ready. It looks like it's pretty much done. It looks so good, bro. I cannot wait for this. I want to see if there's any kind of multiplayer mode, like online multiplayer or something. That'd be something cool to add to Metroid uh, Prime Four. We'll see. I doubt it because it's Nintendo, but, you know. Uh, so, yeah, man. I mean, that was a Direct in a nutshell. If I had to give it a grade, the Direct itself was an F. It was a fucking F uh, because of the, the, the year that we're in, the timing that it's coming out at, and, and you know, the season that we're in. 
uh, just completely unacceptable, completely underwhelming. Uh, but I'll raise it from an F minus, which is what it is, to a D minus because of Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. And that shows you how bad the show was and how much I really could not stand the type of games they were showing off in this direct. When something as epic as that reveal only brings it up one letter grade. I mean, it's just wild, bro. But yeah, no, I mean, so those are my thoughts and my reactions, bro. Um, you know, with the, with the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, they also unveiled a brand new Triforce uh, Switch Lite. No one fucking wants the Switch Lite. No, stop putting... It, 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 this is like... They're trying to make people buy that system. Nobody wants a switch that can't switch. Because then it's just an itch. It's not even a switch. That sucks. You know what I'm saying? So, like, whatever. Um, so, yeah, man. I mean, that's it, bro. Uh, uh, you notice the, the environment I'm in is a little different. It's kind of a mess. But that's because this is the game room that I'm putting together, man. This is the game room. And you notice I keep looking up. It's because I'm literally looking at myself right now. My 65-inch fucking Samsung uh Ultra HD 4K that I have mounted here because I have the laptop connected to it. So that's why that keeps happening. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, just to get a look, you see right there, you got the, the shelves we put up. And I got every console that I own, actual physical console. You'll see that second to bottom shelf is the Nintendo shelf. You got the NES, SNES, N64, GameCube, Wii, and Wii U all there. The bottom is Sony. You got the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, because I don't, I never cared for PlayStation 2, so... You know, until I find one for real, 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 real fucking cheap and I actually go out of my way to get it, I'm just going to get PlayStation 2 complete library eventually through emulation on my laptop. So, fuck it. Uh, and on the top there, you got the Sega, Sega CD, Sega Genesis. I, I mean, one day I'm going to you know, take my, my camera up there and show you a real close-up look, but all the way to the back there, that's a Sega Genesis Model 1 on top of a Sega CD. And next to it is another uh, Genesis Model 1, a Saturn, and a Dreamcast. And then up top, you got the original Microsoft Xbox, the dock for the original Switch, my Xbox One S. I left that in, in the bedroom so that my wife has something to lap over there, bro. So she has at least something to watch, you know, Netflix and Hulu and shit like that in the room. And right here on the desk where the laptop is at, I have my Series X and my Switch OLED along with this beautiful laptop for all my uh, gaming emulation needs. Uh, so, yeah, bro, this is the game room, man. This bed, I'm going to get rid of it. There's going to be a... a um, Probably a, a futon type of, you know, couch that could convert into a bed there. Got to get myself a bookcase for all this shit because this is the game collection right here. Look at all this. All that. All that got to get stored away. So, got to get a bookshelf or two to hold all that. And if you look on the bed, look at this mess. Look at all those controllers, connections, everything, bro. The NES zappers there, everything, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, this is going to be the funk, bro. This, this room is... Uh, I, I've already spent every fucking waking hour of my life since I... Me and my dad started getting it up and running uh, this past uh, week, this past Father's Day. Um, I love it in here, bro. I come in here. I don't even go to the backyard anymore. I usually go to the backyard, hang out there, have a few beers, watch some videos, chill, enjoy my, my afternoon. It's, uh, I mean, it's not even raining right now. I can go out there. I'd rather be in here, bro. I'm in here in the AC. Got my big-ass flat screen there. Got my laptop. Got all my systems. At any moment, I can pull anyone off the shelf, connect it, and play it. Uh, bro, it's just beautiful, man. I love it in here. I watch... Um, tonight, I'm watching the my Florida boys, the, the Florida Panthers, NHL Stanley Cup Finals. We up 3-1. Yeah, don't, don't, don't pay attention to that last game. That was that was nonsense. Uh, we, we just wanted to come win it here in Florida. That's what we're going to do tonight. Uh, so I'm going to watch that in here with a few beers, man. Uh, watch the NBA Finals in here uh, until last night when it ended. Uh, so, yeah, bro. Uh, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. This room's going to be the funk, dude. I got a lot of good things coming for this room, man. I got a $250 gaming chair coming. State of the art massage, cup holders, everything's off the fucking chain. I got some neon signs coming that are gonna go on the wall. When it's all done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video just showing it off, man, so y'all can see. If y'all remember back in 2015, I did that video with the man cave where I was in the man cave in the old house with with, with that with scumbag of an ex-wife. Yeah, bro, this is gonna be similar, but it's gonna be it's gonna be all me, bro. This this gonna be. I got neon signs coming, right? I got an N64 neon beer sign that's going on the wall. I got a Nintendo logo uh, neon beer sign that's going to go above the, the, the flat screen. I got a Sony neon sign that's going to go on, uh, you know, PlayStation neon sign that's going to go on the other wall. I got a Microsoft Xbox, the, the Xbox logo, the white one from the Series X, neon beer sign that's going to go on the wall. And I got a, a, a Sega, traditional Sega logo, neon beer sign that's going on the wall also, man. Got that going up. I got... Uh, I'll just show you one of them, man. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but I got a couple of uh, artwork, you know, portraits that I have framed of the Legend of Zelda. So like this one right here, 
I don't know what that glare you're saying, but you can see like the master sword there in the, the metal from a link between worlds. This and two other ones are getting uh, put up on the wall. For my wrestling fans, I got my my uh, main event Mafia TNA Sting, Kurt Angle, Scott Steiner, Kevin Nash, and Booker T all autographed. A uh, big like a member a memorabilia type of like portrait of all of them. I got it signed by all of them. That's going up. And I got a fucking nice collection of Michael Jordan plates, bro, from all the iconic moments in his career. Collector plates that I'm gonna have up on the wall. So so when uh, when this is all up and ready, bro. Oh my god, y'all gonna love this, man. So yeah, bro, that's where I'm gonna be doing my videos from now on, man. When I do when I do do videos, uh, keep in mind again, like I've been telling you guys, my job keeps me very very busy. Um, you know, especially now, bro. Uh, um, I do have a little bit more time now during the weekends, bro, but I'm so tired from all the shit that we do. Uh, I work that I, I just use that time to enjoy it with the family and only really get on to make a video when something like this happens, you know, a Nintendo Direct, an Xbox Showcase, or I get a new game that I want to review and let you guys know what I think about it. Uh, so yeah, man, maybe eventually I'll get back to doing some captured footage games. Like, so you can see actual gameplay while I'm playing and stuff and, you know, stuff like that. Like I used to. Uh, we'll see, man. I never say never. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think I will stay away from that. I think I'll go back to it, but you know, sparsely, man, because I got a lot of shit to do, man. So, uh, but yeah, bro, man, that's the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, nothing else really to talk about, man. Uh, playing on this, eh, yo, I'm gonna tell you this. I played the first the first day I set this up. I played Forza Motorsport, the new one, here, right in front of this 65 inch beast on my wall. And it's different from playing it across the living room from the other side of the living room up against it mounted on the wall. So we're right here. I'm only like four feet away from it, three feet away from it. It feels like you're in the cockpit of the fucking car, dude, going crazy, man. So, oh my God, and the graphics. It, it, it's, it's so, this is like, this is the, this is like heaven to me right now, bro. I mean, not right now. It's going to get even better, but just having this. I'm, I shit you not, bro. I come up here every day right after work, a couple of beers. I come straight up here and I'm lounging, dog. I'm not, oh, hey, bro, I'm in my PJs, bro. I'm lounging right now, dude, having a few beers. Yeah, with the subs and the subscribers, man, through my video, man, and I give you my thoughts, man. But, yeah, bro, it's paradise up in here, man. So, yeah, man, hope you guys have enjoyed the video, man. It's R to the double E dash to the Z-O-N coming at you once again. Tell a friend. Peace out, y'all.